Jets and the Steelers. All that and more coming up next on E. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Pick it now from the gun here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. But Charles, you, you think about their impressive record, and then you look on the screen and see some of these injuries. That makes what they've done all that more impressive. And when one of their starters or one of their key guys can't play, they miss him, but they just say, get well. We'll hold the fort until you get back, and the next person steps up into that void. This team has done a nice job all year long. No excuses, just performance. A game there of 30 big ones. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Warren. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. It's been a long season, but he still looks fresh running the football. He knows his guys are one game away from the Super Bowl, so he's going to give it all he's got. And that's a heck of a run right there. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Looking to throw, pick it. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Chris Boswell on for the field goal. A 43-yard attempt. And he missed it. He missed it just wide of that left upright. It's no good. These playoff games have a tendency to be... The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make play defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Pickett trying to get his guys up quickly to the line of scrimmage. They'll run it, Warren. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the 
field, and I don't think he got there. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So it was fourth and one down in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. I'm a little surprised that that's how they decide. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Pickett will look to throw it here. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Oh, well, he's got a man wide open, complete. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Now a second and 10. Pick it back to throw. Completes it to Austin. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC Championship. It's a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Warren. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down. Just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Back to throw. Pick it. And that ball is caught by Washington. Touched. It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. On second down now, it's Warren. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no game. Connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're going for this. Pick it. the play fake. Here's Pickett. He'll let it fly for Austin. And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Pick it. Here he looked to throw it. He's going to look deep for more. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Pickett's throw brought in by Austin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll put him over 100 receiving yards now in this AFC title game. It's a first down. Pickett. Yeah, that one drops down incomplete. 
Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Pick it right back to the air again. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Pick it to throw on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Let's go, let's go. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. He finds his man complete. That's Austin. And they move this all the way down to the nine. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. A pretty big play now in this AFC Championship, third and goal. Warren again. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. Now pick 